Hey everyone, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a hermit crab bath for your hermit crabs. So let's go ahead and get right into this. What you'll need is a container and you will also need a bottle of water to pour into here for their bath. Um, uh, it's not okay to use tap water unless you, um, but I actually, it is okay to use tap water as long as you use like some water conditioner. I actually just use this that I use for my betta fish when I give my hermit crabs a bath because it still cleans the water um, the same. Uh, so yeah, all you have to do is pour in the water bottle and then you just put in the water conditioner or you can use tap water but I like to use bottled water just to be even safer and yeah so let's go ahead and pour this in so all you have to do is don't pour in too much because um, the hermit crabs don't want, need a whole bunch of water and yeah so just make sure to be safe and another thing that is also very good to do when you give your hermit crabs baths is put in some hermit crab shells in there because uh, usually hermit crabs will change shells even better if they are in water. So you can just put in a couple of shells for your hermit crabs and make sure that your water is not too cold for them. I'm just going to add in just a couple of drops. I don't have any exact amount. I just do a couple and then I'll just mix it up and also just make sure that your water isn't too hot. Just make sure it's just about the right temperature and your it'll be great. So yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it around with my fingers. Um I also it's also good just to use a spoon. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. And yeah, and then all you have to do is get your hermit crabs and put them in along with some seashells. So, um, it's sort of hard to tell what the color of this, but there's the water. <laughs> Anyways, so I have three hermit crab. Wow. <laughs> I have, now I'm going to have to get some clean water. Anyways, um, I have one, I just got a couple of different seashells that are the size of this hermit crab. Um, her name's Shaylee, just so you know. And so there are these three, and now I'm just going to go ahead and put her in. I think it'll be okay even though there's a little bit of sand in the water. <laughs> Anyways, so just put them in. She doesn't like it. I mean, if they don't like it too much, she, um, you can just go ahead and take them out. I know some hermit crabs just sort of freak out, um, but mine do tend to do really well. And then I just have this towel over here so that when they're done, I will just let them dry off just a little bit so that you don't get a whole bunch of sand all over them and that sticks to the, their claws when they go back into the tank and just that would make the bath pretty much pointless <laughs> um yeah i'm usually i have like two to three of them inside of here but just, since it's just sort to show you for this video i'm only going to use shaylee here who is probably about my most active hermit crab and yeah so she may not change shells um it's also very good to have a bath thing that is tall enough so that they can't climb out and get the carpet all wet or, you know, escape. Um, it is also good to have um, uh, one that can hold the water, plenty of water, just however much you want to put in. So, yeah. So now Shaylee has been walking around for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and take her out and put her onto the towel to dry off for a little bit. But one more thing, it's also good to uh, sometimes put a towel inside of like uh, another like uh, bin like this. That way um, they can't climb out of that either. But it's okay because I will be closely monitoring just so she won't be going all over the carpet. And yeah, so now we're just going to pick her up and put her onto the towel for a little bit to dry off. Yeah, she's very fast, so I have to be fast too. And yeah, your hermit crabs may not always change shells or anything when they're in the water. I've just heard that that sometimes they usually, like they usually do tend to though. And also, if you have a colorful towel like this, I think that this is a pretty good background, you know, if you want to take a couple of pictures of them while they're out, take advantage of the time. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so I think, and yeah, I think that's about it. Like to give your hermit crabs a bath and after they have dried off then that's when you can just put them back in the tank and I have a, like a couple and I would also say that when you're bathing them if you have hermit crabs with a lot of like different sizes like big ones I would say to put the smaller ones in with the smaller ones and the bigger ones in with the bigger 
bigger ones. It's not that they fight, it's just that the little ones sort of get like flipped over and stuff because the big ones obviously there's not much room in the little containers all the time and so they sort of just start walking all over the place and sometimes the little ones sort of get pushed over and everything and so it's not always the best to do that so if you just want to avoid all that altogether you could just do one hermit crab at a time but it does take a little bit longer just whatever you want to do though is fine and then after that after they're all dry you can just go ahead and put them back into their tank and you're all done and that is how you give your hermit crabs a bath. It's pretty simple and gives you something to do. <laughs> and right before I end this video, I just wanna say that you, it's not even like uh, something you have to do with your hermit crabs. You do not have to bathe them, but some people do like to. And I think it is pretty fun to do. And it's also um, sometimes good just to, you know, let your hermit crabs move around and sort of just get some of the, all the sand and substrate off of them and, yeah, so that's just what I wanted to say real quick. Some people don't even, yeah, you really don't have to bathe your hermit crabs at all. It's just something I personally like to do, and I know a lot of other people like to do that too, and that's why I made this video. But anyways, um, yeah, that's just what I wanted to say, and I think that's all for this video, and I will see you all next time. So, bye!